Hello and good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. Holy Shield here for Calkine TV and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. Over the past two years, technological progress, evolving consumer needs and behaviours have changed the way media and entertainment have been providing their services. Digital media engagement has become stronger during times of global crisis and several reports have suggested that the Australian entertainment industry is anticipated to be worth over $40 billion by 2025. And naturally, growth in revenue from digital entertainment is likely to surpass print media. So on that note, let's have a look at three big ASX-listed entertainment stocks, starting with REA Group, the digital media business specializing in property. The company is spread across three continents of the Australian, Asian and North American regions. In its latest quarterly results, REA Group's media revenues have witnessed strong year-over-year -year growth and even the company's Indian business segment delivered strong revenue growth derived from its digital advertising business Housing.com. REA's core strategy is to build the next-gen marketplace and become a leading property data insights provider. Shares of the group traded at $110, down by 3.48% this morning. Its shares have fallen 35% on a year-to-date basis, however. REA Group has a market cap of $15 billion and it's given an annual yield of 1.28%. And looking at the next on our list, Tabcorp, which is engaged in gambling and entertainment services. Yesterday, Tabcorp shared an investor presentation stating that things are changing at the company. At the moment, Tabcorp has a digital and in-venue presence, although it's now shifting its focus on leveraging its core betting ecosystem to achieve digital growth across channels. Tabcorp is trying to move faster with digital and data capabilities. And the company shares have traded at around $1.08, down 0.46% today. Its shares have surged 7.5% on a year-to-date basis, however, and Tabcorp has a market cap of $2.4 billion and it's given an annual return yield of 2.37. And now looking to the last on our list, News Corporation, the diversified media-related services company which has been generating content for consumers and big businesses. In its third quarter results for Financia 2022 issued in May, News Corp reported continued gains in the digital subscription and advertising business. Meanwhile, its digital real estate services segment saw double-digit quarterly revenue growth. The company's shares traded at $23, down by 1.88% today, while seeing a decline of 28.29 on a year-to-date basis. News Corporation has a market cap of $13.72 billion and an annual yield of 0.81%. And that is a wrap on the buzzing trends. Stay tuned for more on Calcane TV because we have many more shows lined up. I'm Holly Shields signing off.